Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How's everybody doing this morning? It is uh, five after eight here, and we got a big day ahead of us uh, today. We got St. Patrick's Day, um, <clears throat> and we got a lot of a lot of stuff to do today. So, uh, before we get started with this video, I got a few pieces up here, a few green pieces, and um, to celebrate. And, uh, you know, welcome in St. Patrick's Day, right? But before we do that, let's uh, say happy, uh, you know, a special happy St. Patrick's Day to Patty Potato Peelers. Uh, my buddy Steven, my buddy Steven. Um, yeah, man, he's... Uh, He's a fantastic guy, and I'm sure he'll be, although he don't drink anymore, and he's a sober man now, I'm sure he'll do uh, his celebrating in another way. And I'm curious, too, on what he does on St. Patrick's Day, because, well, I mean, it's his biggest day of all. So, Patty, if you can uh, enlighten us, and let us know what you, if you have any special things that you do every St. Patty's Day. Um, if you'd like to share that with us, uh, that'd be fantastic. Because I'm curious to know. And, uh, yeah, let's move on with the video and uh, show you a few of these green pieces that I dug up. I do believe that I have quite a few more. Uh, time is just against me, guys, right now. Um, I, like I said, we have some running around to do. We're going to hit it early, uh, me and my wife, and uh, get back home and, and uh, do what we do. But we got this guy here. First one up is this uh, green. Uh, it's a pretty cool Rough Rider. It's a trapper. Um take you a look around it oops i just want to show you the fit and finish on some of these rough riders right this is probably a eh, probably a 12 dollar knife you're looking at here guys you're probably looking at a 12 dollar piece here and uh well you guys all know what a trapper looks like so there's that nice, big, beautiful clip blade you get on the trapper. And then uh, the blade that uh, nobody cares for, except for me and a few other people. And that is the, uh, the spade blade. And I really do think it's a fantastic blade, man. I really do. With this up, uh, with this tip up here and it's just a great blade shape and I I just don't know why it doesn't have much um just people don't really like it I don't know why so that's the spade blade right so you got the trapper here you've got these uh decorative bolsters these bolsters are pretty cool you know for what they are it's a pretty uh interesting uh piece so that is my Rough Rider Green Trapper. All right. Okay, so we're going to keep on rocking and rolling here. This guy here um, is just a fantastic piece. Uh, this is called the Sweet Pickle. This is the Sweet Pickle Bone uh, GEC piece. And... Um, it's a really, really fantastic piece. Um, like most of your GECs are. Look at that fit and finish on that thing. Look how tight them springs are. Go ahead and pour a glass of water in them blade wells. See if any water uh, seeps out that back end there. <laughs> fantastic piece, man. Just a fantastic piece. Got half stops on this one. You've got this wicket. I mean, wicked, uh, Warncliffe, uh, style blade on this one. Uh, 
great eastern cutlery but look at that blade shape menacing right uh go ahead and pop this open here Well, let me fold it uh, so I could show you, get this thing on screen. Uh, let me see without cutting myself the holy heavens. There you go. Just a great piece. The jigging on it. It's an unexcelled piece. So that just means it's a little bit better of a, a GEC. It's not your standard uh, titty -oot in titty -oot form. Uh, I love this knot. I love this piece. I really do. I love it. And I love the jigging on this. The jigging is like fantastic when you get these GECs. They're beautiful. Here's the backside of it. And that's, that's that one. Just a, just an all around, uh, great piece, right? Okay, let's see what we could do around this camera without slicing ourselves open today. Okay, so we'll put that one right back there. We'll go to this guy right here. Do you guys like my uh, shamrock? Look, this guy here, and look, a Blue Creek Knives one I even dug out. I did all this mostly for Patty, Patty Potato Peelers. Got to represent uh, Big Patty today. <clears throat> so we're going to go to this guy. This is my case. Uh, <clears throat> this is the Copperhead. This is out of the Vault series. Um, now this pattern here, uh, just briefly I want to touch on uh, this pattern. Um, this is Case's uh, rendition of a Copperhead. And I, I got another example of a copperhead, but this is Case's copperhead. And uh, when they released this in the Vault series, um, I collected and I, I tracked, I tracked down uh, every single one of these, every single one of these. I think I, I don't, I think I'm only missing a couple, um, but. Um, I went on a crazy, crazy uh, hunt. You guys are lucky you weren't there for that one. Um, let's see if I could show you. Um, hold on, guys. I'm killing myself over here. Probably going to cut myself, I think. Um... There it is. This is probably one of my uh, favorite uh, patterns. Uh, this case, um, this case copperhead. It's just a um, a fantastic piece. It speaks to me um, very, very highly, um, and I also like. The other uh, copperheads, too, I'll show you. But I don't know which one I like more. People always ask me, what style do you like more? This one, the case. See, case only, um, case has got their own uh, copperhead. And there's a lot of companies that do this copperhead style in a lot of different ways. But this is just a fantastic uh, uh, piece. Um, even if it wasn't. Um, it's just a, it's just a beautiful, uh, knife. You could see it, give it to you a look at it here. That back spine with those brass liners, beautiful. But there it is. Love, love, love this particular pattern from Case. This is the copper head. And it is just outstanding, outstanding. Uh, we'll go here, I guess. Look at the jigging on this. Look how deep. I mean, you're talking, what, a $12 or $15 knife here? 
Uh, this is a marbles piece. This isn't, I thought this was a rough rider, but just, if you can just get in on that jigging, I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, come on. I mean, for what it is, you know what I mean? For $12, you have to keep that in your mind and thinking and thinking and thinking about that when you're looking at this knife. But look at the quality um, on this knife. Look at the back end of it, how deep. Look how deep that is, man. I mean, that is... I don't care what kind of brand it is, where it's from, who made it. I don't care if Harry down the street made it. But that is just awesome as far as I'm concerned. But here it goes. Half stops. You got the clip blade. And then you got the, uh, the little uh, Turkish clip. Now, which one do you guys like better? This style? You've got this style copperhead, right? And then you have cases style. Which ones? Which one do you like better? Everybody always asks me. I can't decide. I love, love, love both of these patterns. And you can clearly see why, or maybe you can't clearly see why. Uh, this is my favorite uh, pattern. And then the canoe comes in a uh, second. Or no, maybe the stockman is probably second. And then the canoe. Got to get that stockman in there, right? But just look at that. Is that not beautiful or what? Just beautiful. I mean, both blades you're getting on this is just two, two incredible, incredible blades. You know what I mean? The configuration of what you're getting here, it just makes for an awesome pocket knife, man. Really. I mean, it's just beautiful, man. So there you go with that. Just love it. Um, got a couple more here to go over. This one is a hen and rooster. This one might be a bluish. Yeah, this is a bluish. I'm sorry, guys. I thought that that was green. But I think that this is like a more of a bluish, right? A bluish green. But nevertheless, uh, while it's out, it's a great piece. I mean, it's a hen and rooster. And uh, just wonderful. Wonderful piece of cutlery, right? Love them. Love them. And it seems like a bunch of tree guys got here, and they are going to town outside here, ripping up. I mean, I, I, they must be cutting down a big tree. Um, okay. I can have a feeling that this is going to be a busy day today. And last one, well, I, you know, I threw this one up there just because it's so cool. I don't know if you guys collect, well, not collect, or if you like, uh, these are called the mini uh, canoes. And I got to tell you, <laughs> um, I, I know I'm weird, um, but these are uh, some of the most fantastic, fantastic um smaller um, blades that you could stick in your pocket, I highly suggest just trying, just trying a mini canoe. This is a Rough Rider. It's nothing special. It's probably a $5, not even a $5 knife. But it just is incredible to stick in your fifth pocket. It is a dynamite carry. I'm going to ask you guys, try one. Try one. Case has theirs, but you don't want to spend 50 or 60 bucks for this little knife. They're going to charge you 50 or 60 bucks for cases. I think it's the little butter bean. It's the butter bean. 
you don't want to just drop five bucks on this and, and call it a day, right? I, I'm just, you don't need the butter bean. I mean, unless you're really, really, you know, I guess people buy them, you know, but whatever. Uh, so there it is, guys. That's the, that's a mini canoe. That's a mini canoe. And it is, um, it's one of my favorite pieces to stick in my pocket. My fifth, my fifth pocket, uh, carry because it's such a little, it's, it's a little guy and it just packs, it just packs a lot of power with this little piece. And it looks damn good, don't it? Okay, guys, that's it. That's it for my uh, green knives. Once again, I want to wish everybody a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I wish everybody a very safe St. Patrick's Day. Be careful out there, guys. I remember years ago when I was a rebel man and I was a young, younger, I used to go to every, I used to go to, to 50 bars uh, before the end of the night. I used to hit them all. And boy, I had nothing to be proud of, man. I used to, I'm, I'm shh, the things I didn't do when I was younger. Oh my God. All right, guys, listen, like I said, be safe out there, whatever you are doing today. Have a fantastic day. It's the weekend. Friday is here. Uh, be careful out there. Throw up your green knives. I saved them till today. Throw them up, guys. Let's have a good time. Let's show a lot, a lot of cutlery today, guys. Let's let it rip. Um, let's let's get out your good ones. Show what you've got, guys. Show everything what you've got. Let's make it a big, big, big cutlery day. Let's make it a let's just make it a fantastic cutlery day, shall we? All right, guys, I'm checking out. You guys be good, be well, be safe. Uh, drop me a comment if you can. You know I love reading them damn things. Also, thumb it up, man. Hit that thumbs up button. The whole community will rock and roll with them thumbs up getting on there. All right, guys. Stay safe. And uh, kick me off here, please. <laughs> Take care, guys.